So Rowdy, what's the closest you've ever gotten to get bitten? Oh, I got bitten. Oh, you got bitten? Yeah. Fuck, I do. Holes all through my right leg. Getting Shit. bitten by about a three, three and a three point two metre crocodile. Oh, there you go. Yeah, a bit of female. Hey guys and welcome to another Kafka's vlog. Shout out to all our subscribers. Thank you for watching. But today we are here with Lauren, Pete and Leo minus Liv and Mason. Yay! <laughs> oh and Leo's here everybody. No one else. Yeah, oh. I already told him that. I said oh. I said I said minus Liv and Mason. Um we're going on a boat and then and then we're going on a helicopter. Well, let's find out. Yeah. Leo and I... Hopefully, hopefully helicopter first. Yeah, hopefully, because Leo and I want to be on the helicopter like Fortnite. I'm, I'm working with my dad in Fortnite and I'm going to win because I've been playing over two years and I've never played before my dad. That's right. So he's going to give me a quick lesson on how to play, give it about a game or two, and then I'll destroy him. Whatever. Let's do the rice in China while we're out here. Lauren, Peter, and Leo into tent one. Good yeah, question, cool. where's Matt? Where's Matt? Having a day off. <laughs> Glad you're Matt. Glad you're <laughs> there you go. Where are you, mate? <laughs> this looks pretty magical over here. Not bad view. Not a bad view. Glamping. Glamping. We are glamping. Big glam. Look at that. A romantic dinner here. Oh, well, this I is. Have a, oh, look at this. Ta da! Oh, Yours is down here. I didn't hear that. At night time, it'll be beautiful. Glamping? It's glamping. Oh, no, it's like flash camping. He's got a bed and all. When you go camping, you normally lie on the floor. The windows. <laughs> Hello. FBI, open up. Alright guys, my name's Rowdy, I'll be your guide for the afternoon. Uh, you got Timmy, Morgan and Lee waiting for us down at the boat. Um, if there's anything we can do to make your trip more comfortable at your top end of the boat, please don't hesitate to ask. The next we'll be here for, alright? Um, this afternoon's going to be pretty full on. Um, when you're ready, I'll grab that desk and I'll meet you guys over there at the bus. Alright, I'll tell you that. Sounds good? Yeah, great. Woo. Which one's the airboat? That one, gotcha. Yeah, cool. We are on the airboat. Yeah, it's cool. Make sure you got um, some earmuff seats, guys. Oh. <laughs> the other way. Guys, um, Sweets runs from behind us there where we just came from out to our left and uh, we're going to go down the bottom end of the lagoon in a moment and um, that's where it sort of dissipates out and goes out across the floodplain. That floodplain goes from here right down to Port Keith so it covers a pretty massive area up here in the top end. Um, with the Finnis River, it's got seven different sections. As I said, this one is called uh, Sweets Lagoon. Now, Sweets gets its name from that big crocodile in the Darwin Museum, Sweetheart. Oh. So that crocodile was pulled out of here. Uh, there was it and another one getting around, and they were, um, yeah, basically, <coughs> pardon me, they were basically terrorising boats. So they'd be going up to fishing vessels, humbugging fishermen, knocking outboard engines, biting outboard engines. And just before they were, they were removed from here, one of them turned over a fishing boat and actually ate a fella. So, yeah, not ideal to have around. I don't know which crocodile did that. But um, they came out here to remove these two animals. Uh, the first one they came across was Sweetheart. They reckon it towed the boat for an hour and a half after it had been harpooned. 
then sunk down to the bottom of the lagoon and uh, blew out all its air, basically suffocating itself instead of being captured. So they pulled it up, realised it was dead, got it taxidermied and threw it in the museum. <laughs> Now the other side of the lagoon, you can see just over the left in front of us, sort of about one o'clock. If you look past those trees there, it looks real clear and there's just a few dead trees there, eh? Mm. That's all um, grazed land. So that's part of Finnis River Station. Um, the Venturans own that now. Our friend Bone Cruncher to the people? Absolutely. Okay. New to the family. You spend enough time with these animals, they get to know the sound of your voice. Yeah. Uh, I'll right. pick you between yeah. other people. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oi. No, he's special, this fella. There he is. Look out there. Come on. 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 Oh my gosh. Come on. Then why is he coming to you? Vibration in the water. Because he digs his food. Come on. Yeah, Come on. That's a good one too. Mm. So here's their instinct, their own curiosity. Yeah. Mm. So get them interested. Yeah, it's yeah, not working really. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Blink at me. Yeah, yeah, but without the name. Oh. Oi. Hey, bun. Hey, love. Hey. See any tail there? Yeah. Oi, come here. Oh. Oi. 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 Yeah. Yeah, so his name's Bone Cruncher. Oh, I've heard oh, of him from Bone Cruncher. Yeah. Look at his tail. Yeah. Oh, I think he was a water, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I just. Oi. Come here. Boy. How do you know he's not going to eat you? He's got no teeth. Uh. <laughs> nah, he's still dangerous. Mm. So in the back of his jaw there, he's still got that crushing power or ability. Can he jump that? Yeah, they can do whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> They're crocodiles. <laughs> on that little boat, and I was in the water standing there like this, and he was jumping over me to get at this fella. Oh, oh, nice. I've never seen him act like that, eh? Yeah, ever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Order. Yeah, and you know this is like a really tame crocodile, so I don't think you can just go jump in the waters and this is what crocodiles are like. Give me. No, I'll take one. So will he just go off down the, anywhere down the, and back, come back here? This is easy. Oh, oh, look. Step back, Leo. <laughs> I think it's your, your camera, Pete. It's not Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Stay away from the fortnight there. Yeah. Come on. Baby boys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was cool. Good to meet Bone Cruncher. Off to the next adventure. That was Bone Cruncher. Good to meet him. Yeah. Yeah. Get to the chopper. Where is the chopper? Let's go! Woo.
is absolutely massive. Let me show you a real life crocodile with a small cage around us. Not much. Oh, really? Fella? Who's gonna get this kind of footage? How's that much? If I, if I put my hand over, because he just knows you're there. Just inquisitive, eh? Yeah. You don't feed him or anything? Nah, we're not allowed to. I don't think we need to, really. He's in pretty good condition. Yeah. <laughs> we could, um, we're trying to get a permit to feed Bone Cruncher. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Just because he's going to come across some hard times pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, oh. He's got the stick in his way. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, silly bugger. Oh, <laughs> what's he doing with him? Um, I'm the people, I just don't know how to actually... We're off for a casual boat cruise. Yeah. It's been an amazing experience to get up close with the crocs. Highly recommend it. See if we can show you some more. I don't know if... Um... to get away you've been cooped up in Sydney. Does anyone we split it half and half so all the people that were on our boat are underneath somewhere. Alright guys, these are our uh, <laughs> rescue crocodiles. Come from all sort of places and yeah, it's a bit of a story about <coughs> a couple of them. But, um, if we didn't have them, they probably would have been put down. These are animals that are causing too much trouble in the farm or are too old to breed anymore, so they would have been sort of shot. Um, so instead of that, we took them on. And uh, yeah, they sit around here. It's a bit like the retirement village of crocodiles. <laughs> sit around here and do bugger all and get fed. <laughs> Right, eh? Right. I'll have a scratch right under the chin. <laughs> Alright, come in here on the right, guys. Alright. This one here is on a smaller one we've got. See how it goes. He had a decent feed a couple of days ago, but it can be a bit sneaky, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you might want to be 
have no idea, eh? Hey. Time for a beer, eh? What? So, Rowdy, what's the closest you've ever gotten to getting bitten? Oh, I've got bitten. Oh, you got bitten? Yeah. Fuck, I do. Holes all through my right leg. Getting bitten by about a three, 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 three point two meter crocodile. Oh, there you go. Yeah, a bit of female. Exclusive story from Rowdy. Yeah. Thank you, brother. No worries. So there it is, the bat right experience. We've had our dinner, had our vlog. Laura's about to pass out. We've had our um, <laughs> dessert marshmallows. Um, highly recommend this. So, so shout out to you. Thank you for following our journey. And uh, before I say subscribe to our channel, which what you need to do is subscribe to our channel, is um, we'll finish it off with the breakfast. What are we having for breakfast? Yeah, we're going to have some yummy breakfast. See you then. Peace. So after a fantastic day with the guys and the Matt Wright experience, you top it off with a nice break. There it is, guys, the Matt Wright experience from the Kafka family channel. And I've got with me Tim here, the general manager. The general the general legend of this whole experience. Mate, you were telling me earlier that you could also have uh, corporate functions as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Pete, mate, we've had some massive corporate functions up here. We've had guys from Melbourne, from England, from everywhere. They come in, numbers up to sort of 150 some wow. days. Wow, yes. so this is not just, you know, you can bring your wonderful family and stay in one of these beautiful you can. Um, but as, as Tim said there, um, I think we've got the Red Bull guys coming today. Bit of Red Bull racing out today. Bit yeah. of a team day before they get out to Hidden Valley. Oh, mate, this has been a wonderful experience. I genuinely mean that. Thank you for all the hospitality and last night. Oh. Pete, thanks for bringing your family out, mate. We really hope you had a great experience out here at the Top End Safari Camp, mate. So have a nice, safe trip home, hey? I'll, I'll be 100 with you. This is one of the best experiences I've had in a little while. Cool, brother. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Cheers, man. There, he's back on the phone. Uh, not kidding you, Jamie Wincup is on the phone for him right now, so he's just sorting out the next round of clients. There it is again. Hope you enjoyed the uh, tour. We're getting ready to pack, and I think we're off to Litchfield now, so. Action. What? Action. Me. <laughs> we actually didn't get a chance to go on this pool today. It's, a little, oh, it's actually nice in the morning. A little, a little chilly, but. Uh, Actually not bad, and in fact, a super exclusive, uh, over the coming months towards the end of the year, these guys are actually going to shut down just for a tiny bit, if I've got my information correct, um, and build a huge infinity pool. Stay tuned for more. We're leaving, Leo. We're going now. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to Litchfield. Next. Are we going to Litchfield? Mm -hmm. Never been to Litchfield, have you? Oh, maybe about three or four, five or six times, but that's over the span of about 30 years. So... 40. Yeah, right. I came here when I was seven. You're eight. You're getting old, brother. What? <laughs> you are. You're a boomer. How about that? I'm a baby boomer. I'm a millennial. Daddy's a boomer. What a baby boomer. Hashtag Peter's a boomer. Hashtag... Hashtag you're too cheeky for an eight-year-old. Hashtag you mean you are. Yeah, run, little hashtag. Run. 
around you a little. <laughs> I just roasted my dad. You didn't roast anything. <laughs> you wouldn't know how to turn on the oven to roast. Big bum. <laughs> rectum. We say rectum. See, this is what your mother teaches you. You support this behavior. <laughs> it's not recording, silly. Yes, it is. Oh, no. Oh, start it. Keys are in the car, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Stop stalking me. Say something for the vlog, Lauren. Something yeah. for the vlog, Lauren. Yeah. Close it out. Like and subscribe in the, in the next five seconds, or otherwise you'll get bad luck. Don't have to chop it, brush your teeth. Me too. No, you need to brush your teeth. I did brush my teeth. Oh. You close it out? Yeah. Bye. <laughs>